Hey Virgo, gonna do a you versus them. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Let's get into this. Okay, so you're starting off. You're pushing back, Virgo. You're being defensive. You're not dealing. You're defending yourself. You're standing up for yourself, standing your ground here versus your person. Let's see what is going on here. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like your person is trying to come in with, uh, trying to have a new opportunity with you. Um, looks like this person, <laughs> I have to say, they're looking to get a little boom boom with you and you're, it looks like you're saying no. It looks like they're going to be coming in with that energy. Very passionate, lusty kind of energy and you're pushing back, right? And, and even like with your person, I feel like you're not letting them have it. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Yep, you're not letting them have it. You're like, nope, you're sneaking away. You're running away from this energy. Um, you think maybe somebody's being deceptive here um, or they're a liar and they're trying to hook up. Somebody's trying to hook up with you. Your person, I shouldn't say somebody. Your person wants to hook up. And I feel like you, and they're going to fight for this, but it feels like you are like, no, 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 no. You're looking at them like they lied. They're coming in with this oh, this love offer for you here. Oh, please, I love you. I love you. You're so sweet, being very romantic, trying to have something new, but they're being very deceptive, and you see it. You see it. You're like, no, you can take that somebody, somewhere else. Take it somewhere else. Let me see. Yep, they're coming in with a romantic proposal. No, I swear, I'm being honest. I really do love you. I really want to be with you. But you no, know, Virgo, I feel like your like your first thing because they come in with this this physical pleasure kind of thing first, and I feel like they must be running away from someone. I feel like maybe they got in a fight or some kind of argument with someone that they were connecting with, um, that you know gave them a hard time or was real nasty with them. So they're kind of sneaking away from the person that they were dealing with, whatever they were doing, and coming back in your way, and you're not letting them in. Okay, you're not letting this person in. You're like, nope take it elsewhere right because they're playing some kind of game i don't know what the deal is here yep you have the wheel of fortune yep you're putting your boundaries up because they're cycling through again is what i feel like is going on here in july they're cycling through the rest of july yep you're just like nope you're broke busted and disgusted nope not going through this again right let's take a look here yeah, Virgo, it's kind of like if you're coming back to talk to me, you better be coming back with a proposal, a marriage, a ring. They're coming in, but it's got to be the real deal here. Like you want it to be the real deal. I don't feel like you trust the energy that they're bringing in here. Because it looks like your person got put out by somebody or they got told some like harsh truth or they got told off or they got put in their place by a queen of swords for sure. Uh, this queen of swords was like... I don't know if you want to say nasty, but she was definitely like totally honest with them. Very intentional. And I feel like this person reminds me of like a pinball. They're just bouncing like whoever will have them. They're just bouncing off everybody. So whatever this this Queen of Swords is saying um, to your person, you're saying it to them as well. And they're bee bopping. And I feel like this, your person's like running out of their shots here because it looks like like it's kind of like they just can't get away with playing games anymore not in this day and age it's just not gonna fly um everybody's like hip to the game is what i feel like's going on here yeah <laughs> i feel like maybe this person was juggling you know they're coming in they're coming out they're bouncing back and forth and virgo's just like no no thanks i, I can i can do everything on my own here i don't i really don't need just like there's got to be more than just the physical this is really what i feel not that there's anything wrong with the physical but it feels like to me you're like yeah i can get lucky somewhere else i can get lucky all on my own you know and this person i just feel like with this seven of swords they're just kind of like they're being deceitful okay so yeah virgo you're you've got your so you're showing up here either you're showing up with the queen of swords which you're still in the same energy as the queen of swords which is pretty much like what do you want like here's the deal here's the truth if you want to move something forward it's got to go into a committed relationship or it's nothing at all like it's kind of black and white for you i see but you're also like even taking on the energy of the queen of cups where it's like 
you know how you feel and you're putting a lid on it. I kind of feel like your energy is you don't need to know how I feel about things. They don't need to know, right? That's kind of your energy. Like you're not opening yourself up and expressing your love. You're, you're keeping everything in because you know what this person's about. You could also be de dealing with a water sign. Yeah, so I kind of feel like this person's intentions are just really not that great. I don't feel like, I just feel like they're they're scrounging, like they're scrambling here to try and... <laughs> I, so it's not like heavy duty manipulation, but this person... Look, I feel like this, right? You pushing back on this person is going to increase your wealth. It's going to increase your stability. It's going to increase your safety. Because I feel like if you let this person back in... They're going to just come back in with this deceitful energy, come in with trying to romance you, bring in the Ace of Wands and trying to get a little, you know, hook up. And then it's going to be the same, like then hang out, but they're not going to commit, right? Because why should they, right? Why, why should they commit if they're, you know, why buy the cow if you're getting the milk for free? And I feel like maybe you're on to that now, right, Virgo? And you're just kind of standing up for yourself. Not kind of, you are. You're pushing back on that energy, you know, you know what you want. You've been through this cycle before here with your person and they haven't committed, right? So stand your ground. That's what I feel like your message here is, right? Knight of Wands. Yeah, that's what that's how they're coming in with this lusty energy. So you standing your ground, you telling this person that you are not giving in. No, they can go back to the one that was giving them a hard time. And this you know what? They they got nobody to go to. Because you and whoever they're dealing with are requiring the same things. So they got nowhere to go. What's going to happen? They end up alone. This person's going to end up alone. All by themselves. Holding on to their rod. You know what I mean? <laughs> In the middle of the night. That's it. They got them and the five fingers. That's it. They got nobody. Holding on to themselves. All by them alone. Some. Yep. All by them lonesome. They're gonna try and manifest something or another person, thinking how they can like manipulate somebody else coming into the picture. But listen, there's like total exposure. This person's all out of game. And you know what? Whatever game that they're trying to give here, that might have worked like 10, 15, 20 years ago. But people today are onto the they're onto the okie doke. They know what's going on, especially women. They they're calling it out right away. Women are not lasting as many years and years and years with dumb guys who are just faking it. Women are like, oh, no, no, no. And I see you kind of being like that. And this person, <laughs> I feel like they keep trying to pull rabbits out of their hat and maybe trying to manipulate other people or trying to just, they're trying to get their needs met and they're not, I don't see them really trying to meet yours. So I kind of feel like you're doing the right thing here. You are too, like... <laughs> The lion doesn't care about the opinion of sheep, you know, and this person comes in very sheepish. They're just kind of like, like, a, like very leechy, trying to get whatever they can get. And Virgo, I just see you standing up for yourself in this reading here. And you're just like, you know what? I'm at peace at night. I can sleep. I can sleep because I don't have any drama. I don't have any drama. I can sleep at night. I don't have any worries about this with this person. So what's this person going to do? They're going to try to like conjure up another kind of scheme or with somebody else because every time they hit a dead end, this person, because they're not changing, they're not going within and figuring out like maybe they need to change their ways. Every time they go in and they, they are like, oh no, I'm not dealing with myself. Let me just try to like get somebody else to just meet my needs. The next person they go to, same thing again, sees that shady energy and calls them out. It's the same thing. They're just going to keep butting their heads. Look. And this is not someone that you even need to be dealing with. It's not someone you need to be bothering yourself with. You need to be able to get home and get and crawl into your bed at night and sleep peacefully and not have any worries. And in July, that's what I see is going up here. That's what I see is happening here for you. Just standing, like pushing back on this. It's just very bad energy, right? Watch my ass walk as I'm walking out the door, right? You can see, as I'm walking out the door, I'm going to jiggle my butt. You can't have it. You can't have this. Got to pay a pretty fair high price 
not fair, pretty high price. Like you're gonna have to pay the ultimate price if that's if you wanna be with me. That's kind of what I feel like your energy is. Virgo. <laughs> yep, and this person, like listen, let me tell you, they're gonna like swing around to somebody else, get called out again, then they're gonna go back to another person, try to get in there, they're gonna get called out again, and then come back to you. And the only way that's gonna stick for them to stay with you is if you give in. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of up to you, obviously, what you need to do. But I feel like this person, for you, you need to start that new chapter, start dating, socializing with other people. Even if you don't want to date, start socializing with others, go out and have a good time. Let other people celebrate you. Be happy. Enjoy your life. Don't waste your time with like people like this. They're so like so insecure. They're just super insecure. They're not loyal. They're not loyal to anyone. They're loyal like to themselves. What, you know, like I feel like whatever they can get. You can be dealing with fire sign, water sign, air sign. I'm not seeing earth sign because earth sign's pretty damn smart. But you could be dealing with an earth sign. Here you go, integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? And obviously not if you're pushing back and you're saying no. Okay, reject this person. Or if they're rejecting you because they're running with someone else, it's a blessing. Why? Because you can lay your head down at night. You can sleep. Yeah, they're going to come in with apology. The whole nine yards. That's what I feel like the deal is. But you know what? They're emotionally unavailable. Emotionally unavailable. So they flip from person to person or thing to thing, whatever. Don't waste your time. Don't give any more. Like, if you're going to do anything, if you're staying involved with this person, match their energy. But don't, you know... Unless there's something that you're going to get out of it, which I don't really feel like there's anything you're going to get out of this except for a headache. All right. So you could be dealing with a rabbit, a snake, a goat, or a dragon. Okay. That could be you or it could be this person. It doesn't have to be those signs, but let me see where your charm is. Oh, what the hell is that? So a bird, there's like a teeny tiny little bird here, which is pretty reminiscent of what I've been saying. Like a bird. This is like a little chicky. Somebody might call you chicky or maybe that's your nickname. This person just flits from person to person and they go online. They meet people online. Okay. And you also have the infinity symbol. So again, what comes around goes around, right? They'll get theirs. Karma, karma never forgets an address. This person, let me tell you right now. They keep acting in that way and acting in that behavior they're going to end up alone the end of their life and they might be okay with that <laughs> but they're going to end up in eventually at their own because even if somebody stays with them long enough because they, they they're insecure the person that stays with them eventually they're going to realize that they're unhappy they're going to leave the person that they're with is going to either leave or cheat on them or something it's just it's like a never-ending cycle like this person needs a big conk on the head just to even like, like it's like wake up dude it's like wake the heck up but anyway it's not your problem right you don't just you know you'll know them by their the way they come in okay they're going to come in first towards you with that ace of wands with that passion that lust that thing is growing for you you know what i mean they're trying to have that but they're also being very deceitful and when you push back they're gonna be like oh but no i really love you really care no pay attention the way they come in people show you who they are the way they come in pay attention all right, Virgo, a little quickie. Hope you enjoy that. See you later. Bye.